Hello and welcome everyone to this PostgreSQL tutorial video. Today in this video, we will explore how to use a PostgreSQL cage statement with multiple columns. By the end of this video, you will know how to write a conditional logic based on multiple columns of your data. Let's start by understanding the basic syntax of cage statement. The cage statement starts with the keyword case and ends with keyword end. Between this keyword, you can define a multiple when condition each followed by a then result. Optionally, you can add an else statement at the end to specify a default value. Imagine a table named employees with a columns ID, name, age, salary. Let's create a new column called status based on the age and salary columns. Now let's look at an example. In this example, first we are selecting the basic columns ID, name, age, and salary. Then our cage statement starts. This will help us determine the status column. The first condition checks if the employee is younger than 25 years and earn less than $50,000. If so, their status is a junior low salary. Next, if they are still younger than 25 but earn $50,000 or more, their status is junior higher salary. For employees aged 25 and above, earning less than $50,000, they are senior and low salary. If none of the conditions are met, the default else is senior high salary. Let's execute this query. As you can see in the output, how a status is assigned based on age and salary of the employees. Let's consider another example to deepen our understanding. Imagine you have a table named products with columns product ID, product name, stock and price. Now you want to categorize each product based on its stock quantity and price. Let's see how we can achieve this. Here is the SQL query. We we'll begin by selecting the columns, product ID, product name, stock and price. Our cage statement starts next. This will categorize the product based on, it, based on its stock and price. The first condition check if the stock is less than 50 and the price is less than 20. If both are true, the category is low stock cheap. If the stock is less than 50 but the price is 20 or above, the category is low stock expensive. For products with a stock of 50 or more but priced less than 20, they fall under high stock cheap. Lastly, if none of their earlier conditions are true, it defaults to high stock expensive. Let's execute this code and see. In this output, you can see that the how products are categorized based on stock and price. To summarize, the PostgreSQL cage statement allows you to implement a conditional logic based on multiple columns in your data. With clear understanding of the syntax and by following best practices, you can enhance the expressiveness of your SQL queries. So if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more PostgreSQL tutorials. Thanks for watching.